In this question, we're told a transformation t from the z plane to the w plane is defined by w is equal to z plus 2i over z minus i. z cannot be equal to i. We're told z is equal to x plus i y. w is equal to u plus i v and x, y, u and v are real. In part a, we need to show that the circle mod z is equal to 1 is mapped onto a straight line in the w plane under t and find an equation of the line. What I'm going to do is make a z for subject. So let's write this out. What we've got then is w is going to be equal to z plus 2i divided by z minus i. So multiplying both sides by the denominator, we're going to have w and then we'll have z minus i is going to be equal to z plus 2i. Expanding out, we're going to have wz minus wi. So wz minus wi is going to be equal to z plus 2i. I'm going to click the z's on the left hand side so we can have z, we'll have w minus 1 and then add the wi to both sides, that's going to give me wi plus 2i. At this stage I'm going to divide through by the w minus 1 and just factor this i out. So we can write this now as z is going to be equal to i, the quantity w plus 2, divided by the quantity w minus 1. At this stage, I'm going to take the modulus of both sides. If I take the modulus of both sides, we can then insert on the left-hand side 1 instead of mod z. So taking the modulus of both sides, we're going to have mod z is going to be equal to, and initially taking the mod of the entire uh, fraction on the right-hand side, we're going to have i multiplied by w plus 2, and then that is going to be divided by w minus 1. So we can split the modulus up on the right hand side, so we've got mod z on the left hand side, then we can have a mod i, which is just going to give us 1, then the modulus of w plus 2 divided by the modulus of w minus 1. At this stage, I'm going to insert the 1 on the left hand side for the modulus of z. So what we're going to have then on the left hand side, we're going to have 1. The modulus of i, we just write as 1, so what we're going to have is w plus 2 over the mod of w minus 1. Multiplying both sides by the mod of w minus 1, we can have mod of w minus 1 is equal to the mod of w plus 2. If we sketch this up, this is going to give us a perpendicular bisector. So let's just put this on. And now we're dealing with the w plane, so let's get these on. What we're going to have then is this point just here, and this is going to be where u is equal to 1, and this one is going to be where u is equal to minus 2. So let's put those on. That's 1 and minus 2. So all we want is a perpendicular bisector. The perpendicular bisector is going to be somewhere around here, give or take, and that will be u is equal to minus 1 half. So let's write that there, u is equal to minus 1 half. So if that's the first one done, um, you can probably slim your workings down. I've kind of step-by-stepped -step it, but in an exam, you wouldn't have to go through all that rigmarole. This is where you should be at fairly quickly, and then just express these now as the perpendicular bisector. Okay, we're now told a circle where we've got the mod of z minus the quantity a plus ib is equal to r, in the z plane is mapped under t onto the circle w, uh, mod w is equal to 2 in the w plane, where a, b and r are real. We need to find the values of a, b and r. Okay, a couple of different approaches that you could take with this. I think the way I'm going to go with it is simply take w and substitute this in. So what we're going to do is express w in terms of z. So what I'm going to write then is the following. I'm going to write the modulus of z plus 2i divided by, now, z minus i is going to be equal to 2. So again, we can split this modulus up, and we can write this now as z plus 2i, so taking the modulus of z plus 2i, divided by the modulus of z minus i, is going to be equal to 2. I'm going to multiply both sides by the modulus of z minus i. So we're going to have the modulus of z plus 2i, and then that's going to be equal to two lots of the modulus of z minus i. I'm going to rewrite these in terms of x plus i, y. So what we're going to have then is x plus i, y plus 2. So all I'm doing now is writing these in Cartesian form. And that's going to be equal to two lots of the modulus of x plus, and then we'll have i, and then it will be y minus 1. What I'm going to do is square both sides and remove the moduli. When I do that, I'm going to get x squared plus y plus 2 all squared will be equal to, and square the 2, we're going to have 4, and then we will have now the quantity x squared plus y minus 1 all squared. So what I've done is square both sides and remove the moduli. 
we can now see that this is going to give us a circle. So if we just expand all this out, we're going to have x squared plus y squared plus 4y plus 4 will be equal to 4x squared. And then we're going to have now plus, in fact, I'll just, I'll just do this step by step, plus y squared minus 2y plus 1. So what's that going to give us on this side? That's going to give us 4x squared plus 4y squared minus 8y plus 4. And that will be equal to x squared plus y squared plus 4y plus 4. Okay, so the 4s are going to cancel. Uh, and we'll bring everything to the right-hand side. We're going to have now 3x squared. So let's do 3x squared. We're going to have plus 3y squared. And then we've got plus 4y minus 8y, so that's going to give us minus 12y. Those 4s will cancel. So let's make this slightly easier, dividing through by 3. x squared plus y squared. And then we're going to have minus 4y. I'm going to complete the square on the circle. So we can have x squared, and then we'll have plus y minus 2, all squared. And then we're going to have minus 4, and that will be equal to 0. So x squared plus y minus 2, all squared, will be equal to 4. In Cartesian form, this gives us a circle, and the equation of a circle is in the form uh, x minus l squared plus y minus b all squared is equal to r squared. So what we're going to have then is a centre 0, 2, and then a radius of a square root of 4, which is going to give us 2. So what we can now do is express this in the form that they want, z minus a plus ib. So what we're going to have then is the following. We're going to have mod and we can have z minus, and all we need to do is put this in. So we can have 0 plus 2i. So all we need to do is place those in, and that's going to be equal to the radius. We've already found the radius here. We've taken the square root and just simply subbed it in, and that's going to give us 2. So they want this now, uh, the values of a, b, and r. So we can say that the value of a, let's write this here, is going to be 0. The value of b is going to be 2, and the value of r is going to be 2. Again, with that particular example, you might want to slim some of this working down in the exam, but that's a step-by-step -step way in which you could approach it. With all of these uh, complex transformations, there's a few different ways that you could tackle them, but what we've done in the last couple of examples are two particular methods.